On today's episode, Pineapple Ramune. Hey everyone, welcome back to Obscure Cola. Today I have another one of those awesome Ramune flavors. So Ramune, if you're not familiar, is a distinctive Japanese drink which comes in this weird bottle. It's got a little marble in here, you have to pop it out. I'll show you in a second. This one happens to be pineapple flavored. Um, so this is the first time I've ever seen it pineapple flavored. The normal one is kind of like a cidery sp sprite type thing. Um, I did on this channel at the very beginning I did one which was actually cola flavored and I haven't done one since so it's kind of half interesting bottle and in this case also the fact that it is a pineapple flavored soda. No real juice by the way. Uh, so anyway, uh, if you haven't seen how these things open, they actually have instructions on them uh, right here. Basically, you peel this guy off. And then you take this plastic cover off. Try not to do that. Uh, basically, you have now this plug, which you use to pop the bottle open. So first of all, you take this spacer out. This just keeps this thing from accidentally opening the bottle. And now I have this kind of a plunger thing, which I use to knock this marble that is basically because this plastic thing is, is wedged up in the uh, mouth of the bottle, keeping it sealed, keeping the good stuff in and the bad stuff out. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shove this thing down, knock the marble down, and then the marble gets stuck in this narrow part of the bottle. So they like squeeze the bottle there, so the marble won't fall down into the drink and it'll basically get stuck in here and it'll roll around back and forth here. So, and I will explain what these are in case you missed my previous video. But basically, I'm gonna try to do this. I gotta do it on the table. So let's uh, adjust the camera. Okay, so last time I did this for the cola one and made a huge mess on my desk. Ah, it did actually leak. See if I can get away with it this time. Basically, I'm just gonna push strong and firm and hopefully it doesn't explode on me. Ready, three, two, one, go. Okay, I think crisis averted and I even got the thing out too. So no uh, explosion. And here you are with your bottle with your marble in it. And the marble's actually kind of bluish. Okay, so let's give it a taste. Um, it's pretty cool. Like, look at all those bubbles on my marble. Now, the key thing is you have a choice of which direction to tilt the bottle, right? And what you want to do is tilt it in the direction that these two notches are, these two indentations, um, because those indentations will keep the ball from rolling all the way back in and stopping up the bottle. So for example, if I drink it this way, the ball falls in and now I got pineapple flavor on there. But if you drink it this way and you don't tilt it too much, basically the ball stops there. And it doesn't make a big difference now because it's really full, but especially when it gets lower down, um, it's much easier for the ball to roll. So anyway, that's pretty cool. Like, look at there's like a surface. The part that didn't roll still has bubbles on it. And the part that did roll, basically, the bubbles have been rolled off. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so uh, let's talk about the flavor. Tastes like that pineapple syrupy kind of artificial flavoring. I don't think there's any real pineapple in here. It's probably just yeah, chemically simulated pineapple flavor. Um, the bottle is pretty cool though, right? One other thing uh, to note is that this actually says pine flavor because pine is like short for pineapple in Japanese. Um, so if you didn't know any better, if you just read it, you think like, what is this pine tree flavor? But no, it is in fact pineapple, hence the picture. Uh, one other thing, I do always try to mention how much sugar is in these guys um, when I do the review. This is the English importation sticker that they put on top uh, when they import in, into Hong Kong, which is where I am right now. And this one says there is a 
sugar level of eight grams per 100 milliliters. So it's like 8%. That's actually relatively low. A Coke is like 10.6 or so. Um, I always also give a reference point for the lemon tea that I like to drink. It's popular here in Hong Kong, the Vital Lemon Tea. That is as high as 13. I think I've tried one that was even higher, 14 or 15, uh, some other fruit flavored drink. Um, but this one, despite being pineapple, actually not that much sugar. So, and it is like a sugar drink. It's not like it's diet or anything. So that's actually pretty decent. So anyway, let's try it again. Pretty good. Now, especially when I get the drink you know, down lower, those indentations make a difference. Let me see if I can do it. If I do it the wrong way and I drink it too hard, it should plug up. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I made a mess because I was trying to not drink it. <laughs> anyway, so you get the idea. Um, so overall, uh, yeah, it's actually okay. I mean, it definitely is artificial, artificially sweet tasting, not an actual real pineapple tasting, which is a little bit sour, um, but not that bad. And as always, I have to give my final verdict. So I don't really have anything really witty to say this time. I'm just going to say... Ramune good, bottle awesome, pineapple meh, Pie, fake pineapple meh. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, check us out, you know, subscribe, hit the like button, all that kind of stuff. Check out our other videos and see you guys next time here on Obscure Cola later. Oh, it's still stuck. It's still stuck. It didn't fall down. Wow. Okay, so yeah, there you go. That's why you got to drink it the right way. Okay, and on that note, definitely uh, give us a subscribe, check us out on the videos, yada, yada, yada. Thumbs up, hit the bell. See you guys next time. Bye. Not two, not three, but four, count on four, special heritage edition bottles from Coca-Cola. So this is a...